Hey everybody, I'm Nicole Ricky and I am cruising out. I just got my new assignment and I'm here on the Columbia and Snake River. I just got to the ship and I'm in my crew room. I will have a roommate, but I'm just getting adjusted. I'm about to get put my uniform on and get to work. What an amazing experience it was. We're gonna start with day one. So you maybe already saw the lock experience. That was just an overview of the entire week which I was only on the ship for one week, but now I'm gonna break it down day by day. Starting, yes, in Portland, Oregon, it was my first time there, and our first major stop of the itinerary was Astoria, Oregon. Astoria is the oldest American settlement west of the Rockies. One of the excursions I went on was the National Park Service replica of Fort Clatsop, and this is the 1805-1806 winter camp of Lewis and Clark. Okay, so day one on this itinerary, we are in Astoria, Oregon, and I'm at Fort Clatsit, which is the Lewis and Clark National Historic Park. Hey, check that one off the list. And this is where Lewis and Clark were, 1805-1806, and it's the home of the Clatsit people as well. I'm excited to learn a little bit and see the fort. See your face, I cry out, because you're holy, holy, holy. Another one of the excursions I did was the Astoria Column. This is a tower overlooking the mouth of the Columbia River. And from the top, you get a little paper airplane and you shoot it off the side. Standing with those who have heard well done, proclaiming for Okay, our next stop is the Column in Astoria. I just made it up, I think it's like 160 steps. Look at these views. The open ocean is 10 miles back that way from the Columbia River, right here from Astoria. That you're the one who's faithful, faithful, faithful.
Okay, so it is just about the end of day one. We just left Astoria and we're headed to Kalama. And I just want to point out how cool it is to be sailing on the Columbia River, Washington on one side and Oregon on the other. Wow. This is awesome. Worthy, worthy, worthy Lord, another glimpse of glory. We'll sing once more. Worthy, worthy, worthy. Alrighty, it is the next day. I'm in Kalama, Oregon, and I'm standing at the Kalama Interpretive Center. So this is kind of my first excursion of the day. And look at what's behind me. It's a big locomotive train. It's the 539 to be exact, and it's the oldest of its kind. Let me read you a little bit about it. So it was built by the American Locomotive Company in 1917, and it was for the Northern Pacific Railway, engine number 1762. Wow. So Kalama is just a little town. I'm just doing a little bit here, walking around, checking this out. And then I'm headed to Mount St. Helens this afternoon. Okay, so now I'm just walking around McMenamin's Lodge and it's truly an experience. Apparently there's some secret passageways. I haven't found any yet, but they have really just cool rooms. Oh wow, what's in here? I'm on my second or I guess third excursion of the day depending on how you count which is Mount St. Helens National Volcanic Monument. From where I'm at at the visitor center I can't see the volcano just because it's a bit cloudy today but we're going to be headed to another visitor center. Here's the map we're near Spirit Lake and I'm doing a little trail here. All right, now I'm on the Silver Lake Wetland Haven Trail. So we're at our second visitor center. Mount St. Helens is just right there. But unfortunately, the clouds have covered it up today. We are at about 3,000 feet in elevation and you can see the valley here and how the volcano really changed this landscape. And even where the lakes and rivers were just completely blown away. 
crazy uh this is really cool obviously i've been to actually a couple of different volcanoes before i've been sailing near mount baker i have been to hawaii haleakala and i'm sure i've seen more but to be this close to mount st helens which were so recently erupted uh pretty cool he's righteous righteous Jesus, Jesus, sing amen, amen. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next one. Bye.